Hello guys, in this tutorial we're gonna talk to you about Facebook Pixel. Um, what's, what is Facebook Pixel, why we use Facebook Pixel for our website and uh, how it helps us in our business. Um, basically, when you have a, a business service that you sell our product, you would always want to track that information. And um, tracking it, it's, it's uh, manually it's going to be harder when you start dealing with large and large quantities of um, visitors and clients and leads uh, coming to your website it's particularly from social media so we're talking about Facebook so people coming from Facebook to your website um, it's going to be a lot harder for you to keep in track of um, the visitors the leads and who's and the actual buyers now, for that reason, we're talking about Facebook Pixel, and that's how Facebook Pixels help you track the information. So that's basically what Facebook Pixel is. So now I'm going to basically show you how simple it is to set up your Facebook Pixel to your WordPress website, okay? All right. In order for us to um, set up uh, our Facebook Pixel, we would need um, obviously a Facebook account and better yet we need a Facebook page as well for your website so um, this is my Facebook uh, uh, page fan page if you would like it uh, for my website okay now it's a good idea to have a, a Facebook page or a fan page for your website so that way um, you're you have a list of people that um, are already interested from your Facebook on your Facebook page and that way you can target specific people to your website okay so you would need you would need a Facebook page and a website that you have okay so this is one of my cosmetic website so we're gonna work on this one okay so let's go ahead now we're gonna go and go to manage ads okay and then you're gonna click on one of your accounts well I only got one here and then we're gonna go in to add manager side and pixels so Facebook has completely changed their um, interface you know uh, for the from the from the past few months they have completely changed everything this is basically 2016 it's fresh today is June 3rd 2016 so you know it's fresh content right here all right so now we're already in our pixel area now the simplest way for you to go and check your Facebook pixel record is right here when you click on pixels from here you're able to track um, one of your pixels or whatever pixels you got and see how it's doing so basically on from May 31st to June 2nd we got about 31 clicks from our Facebook ads or wherever you have your setup uh, your Facebook pixel so let me show you the easiest way of um, setting this up you go here you're gonna go view pixel code so actions view pixel code and that's your code from your Facebook Okay, so this is the code that you're going to use on your website. Now, Facebook, you know, does a good job by explaining it on on a graphical way here how how it's used. So I'm gonna replay this for you, just to just to show you. Basically, it says to copy this, copy this, and paste it in between the header files in your website. So every page that you wanna put this code that you wanna track, uh, you put it between the header files. Now obviously I'm not a, a software developer so I don't know how to do this coding thing here so there's a lot much easier way of you doing this actually so you copy this code okay so you copy it control C okay forget about this don't worry about it you could email this code to your yourself but I'm just gonna copy it done now we're gonna get back into our website okay now in order for us for this to work you need a WordPress website Okay, so you need to access your WordPress. Okay, 
So once you're in your WordPress, you're gonna go ahead and log in. Okay. Once you're logged in, now you're able to uh, view your WordPress here. So for this to work, because we are not a, a software developer or co or interested in coding, all that great stuff, we're just gonna go ahead and plug in. Okay. And once you're in here, plug in. You wanna look for um, for this plugin code insert manager so copy this so basically code insert manager I'm gonna put this in the description below you'll be able to copy that from there and uh, search it oh oops sorry I'm so sorry I'm searching the um, installed uh, plugins so we're gonna go add new okay and then we're gonna search over here okay search for the name and bam that's the only one and you wanna install this which I already installed once you install this you'll you'll be asked to activate this plugin and then when you click on the activate it's going to give us a tap here saying co code insert okay so once you get this part you're gonna go ahead and click add new okay once you click on add new it's a pretty simple straightforward information from here description so if you hover over the question mark it says name description of the included code required so it's pretty simple so that you got the pixel code from Facebook so Facebook there you go Facebook to website clicks now status you want to keep it at active the location of the code so location where you want to place this included code so most likely you would want to put it on the header so once it depends actually it depends on where you want that code to be because this code is behind the website so you, your customers your clients even yourself won't be able to see the code but it's there to track the 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 number of clicks on that website okay so we're gonna go ahead and put it on header priority we're just gonna put it hundred insert on what pages so which pages do you would like to insert this code you know is it a particular page where you wanna um, put your um, clients to is it at uh, the checkout page and you know they actually buy something that's where you wanna put it or is it somewhere where you wanna lead them to maybe um, a blog or or a shopping page or you know or you know whatever you wanna choose at a card whatever you, you like so we're gonna actually go ahead and put it at all for this pep purpose okay so we're gonna click on all and then we're gonna apply okay okay once that's done you don't worry have to worry about exclude page so but if you want to know about it you just hover over it and it tells you pages where code cannot be shown hold control key um, for multiple selects but we're not gonna worry about that the code is not gonna show at all and we're gonna show you in the demo purpose here now hide from the users well you don't have to worry about this again you're just gonna go here and you're just gonna paste oops <laughs> remember we copied uh, uh, copied our uh, uh, plugin name there so we're gonna go back here again and then copy this code okay control C copy go back here paste there you go so once that's done you're just going to save changes and once you save changes record has been inserted and you are ready to go so basically that part where you have to put your code in is done for your website that's how simple it is for you to add your Facebook pixel code to your WordPress website and now you're able to track your consumers your users your um, leads all sorts of uh, people on certain pages or all pages that's basically how you do um, Facebook pixel code to your website and that's basically it guys I hope that information was um, informative and uh, I'll see you in the next video take care